Hello? How's everyone doing tonight? Everyone doing pretty good? What do you guys think about my stunning bride over here? Huh? Just to let you know, she's going to be signing her name Mrs. Giovanni now. That's really, really, really cool. Uh, I, we wanted to say a few thank yous here, but uh, I wanted to apologize about something. Back there in that corner, it was only supposed to be uh, like Sprite and Coke and water, and somebody stocked it with uh, liquor and booze. So I apologize about that. Go ahead and drink it if you want, though, but I wanted to apologize about that. Is that a good one here? A little speech here. So hey guys, Katie and I are really, really honored that you guys are all here on our special day. Uh, words truly can't explain how much you guys being here really means to us. You know, we did a bit. Love you, Tony. We wanted to take a minute and just say a few words and a few thank yous. Uh, first of all, to everyone, from our photographers to our videographers, our wedding planner to the bar keeps, the staff at the church, the staff here tonight, to anyone behind the scenes creating this event tonight. Honestly, we thank you for making today run and feel so elegant. Now, yeah, give them a round of applause, absolutely. Now, let's make some noise for the best damn Giovanni bridal party out there. Make some noise for these guys. Everyone up here, you know the past year hasn't always been easy, uh, but your help and support and everything you guys have done for us this summer and today, truly, honestly, we couldn't have done this without you guys. And I wanted to share just a really quick story here. Uh, the majority of these people up here, guys and girls, when me and Katie first moved in together about two and a half years ago, they put wagers and bets on how long it would take for us to break up. So on behalf of Katie and myself, you guys can write those checks out to the new Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> yeah. But in all serious though, thanks a ton for not only being our bridal party, but some of the best friends, honestly, Katie and I have ever dreamed of having. Thank you guys so much. And to everyone here, all of you guys, our family, friends, really, truly, thank you for celebrating with us today. When I think about today, I realize how much bigger today really is. I realize in one place how many dreams have come true. I look around and God has been very good to both Katie and I on making so many people's dreams come true today. So, uh, there he is, how you doing? <laughs> so, uh, I take a look at my parents, Marty and Teresa. Uh, Mom, the first few years of my life, you raised three children working a ton of hours to make sure that we never went without. And honestly, something is the biggest thing that I've learned from you that I'll pass to my children is I never remember going without, and I know many a times you have. And that is something that I will always remember on how strong it will be doing. Uh, to my dad, uh, dad, when I was at the age of three, you woke up one morning with two kids and you said, you know what, I need about three more right now. <laughs> At the age of five, you became my stepdad, and shortly after, uh, to today, you've been the best dad and father I could ever ask for. Uh, I, uh, you quickly treated me like your own son, and for 25 years, you showed me what it would take to become a man. I love you both for everything that you've done for me in the past 30 years, and today, their dream of their youngest son finding and marrying a beautiful woman with passion, pride, and a ton of goals going for her, that dream has come true. I look over to John and Amy. Their dream of their daughter, walking down a beautiful aisle, marrying the man of her dreams, that dream has come true today, right? And uh, by the way, mom, dad, you spent 29 years raising your girl into a successful woman, being there for her and supporting her in every single way, shape, and form. My promise to you both is to devote the rest of my life giving all I have to finish what you guys have started. I, I, um, I take a look at Mary, Mary and Ariaya, and Mary, our grand, who couldn't make it here tonight, but she made it to the church today. Uh, they both have gone through a ton of health issues this past year. Mary Ann, 
uh, and Yaya and, and Graham, you guys just know everything you guys went through and their dreams of being healthy enough tonight to celebrate with us, that has come true. And that is huge. And together, Yaya, my Graham, and uh, Nancy, our Nana, their dream of seeing their granddaughter and grandson get married, that has come true. So that's, that's great for you guys, and I'm just so happy that you guys were able to be here tonight. I take a look at the guy who made His dream of starting a relationship with me and being more than just a person here today, that has come true, right? That's come true. Although we can't do anything about the past, but this last year has been great for you and I to finally have a friendship in. And I'm very proud to call you Pops. Just really. Now I look at my I look at my beautiful my beautiful wife here. When you're a little girl, you have big dreams of today. You dream of marrying a kind, compassionate, hardworking, full of goals, and top it off, good looking guy. I'll speak for you, babe. I know it's in your heart. That dream came true today for Kate, huh? You're my best friend and someone I, I can't truly live without, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Now lastly, I look at my dream. Not many boys dream about their wedding. I happen to be one of them, the age of 16, dreamed of what today would be and feel like. I dreamed of finding a beautiful, well-educated, inspired by goals, a woman that knows the good and bad of me, a woman that will give her heart and soul to me, and make beautiful Giovanni babies. Baby. <laughs> eventually. I'm supposed to say eventually. I dreamed of seeing her smile light up as she saw me walking down, as she, as I, she saw, um, let me say this again here, I dreamed of seeing her smile light up as she was walking down the aisle. And today, in front of you, I can say, and I'm gonna pause for a second real quick here, before I say what happens. But this dream was when I was 16 years old, and I think the majority of you guys know who I was when I was 16, right? Was I Brandon Giovanni? I was the Gia. So in front of all you today, I can finally say, oh finally, the Gia's dream of marrying the most electrifying woman has come true. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I knew all the speech but that. I just want to say um, a quick thank you um, to Ed and everybody at PMG Chocolatiers for putting together this beautiful reception and everything they've done for the wedding and they made my dreams come true today. Coming up, I want to thank Marty and Teresa for everything you've done for the wedding and for welcoming me into your family. I love you guys. I want to say just to I feel so blessed that both of my grandmothers <laughs> that both of my grandmothers could be here today. And then the world to me with what Yaya has battled this last year and Graham, that they could be here today. And I just want you to know that I love you and thank you for all you do. It means the world. we're going to wrap this up so we can eat. I just want to say a huge thank you to my mom and dad for everything they've done for us to make this wedding possible. They've been by my side, helping me, doing countless things day and night, and I will never be able to thank you enough. And thank you to Jennifer for everything she did. I know it hasn't been easy. She just started nursing school, but she stood by me the past couple of weeks and helped me with everything. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right. I'm gonna... Okay, that's it. So we're gonna we're gonna do some toast here, and then we're gonna get some grub on our belly. But thank you guys for all being here.